Bridezillas, no one can stand them. No one likes them. But we sure do enjoy talking about them. Today's story is from the subreddit r slash Bridezillas. And it goes, Bridezilla over costume jewelry? So, let's get started with this bridal inspired transformation and I've got a question for you. Do all brides become bridezillas at some point? Leave it in the comments below. About 15 years ago, my sister Samantha got married. I got the dress, shawl, shoes, and figured that was it for my ensemble. Well, the night before the wedding, she presents me with a pair of rhinestone earrings. Like the ones you would get at Walmart for $10. Until then, Samantha had not said a single word about the earrings or even thought to ask if I even wear jewelry. I had had pierced ears, but decided to let them heal over because I wasn't that into earrings after all. Samantha literally throws a fit. Not yelling per se, but complaining about how she bought these earrings to match with the outfit. And why didn't I tell her that I don't wear earrings anymore? Looking like a child, and then stomping out of the room to complain to some of the guests that were at my house at the time. Samantha was having a full-on spiral over earrings. Unfortunately, she was enabled by our well-meaning aunt, who tried to turn them into clip-on earrings. Wait a minute. Wait just a minute. So you're telling me that your sister... Samantha does not know that you don't wear earrings? Does she even spend a lot of time with you? Does she even really know you? Or is, is there something else that's brewing over here? Because I smell a rat. Something else is going on here. I just didn't and never will understand how someone can make such a big deal over a pair of earrings and blame the other person for being unable to wear them. No one cares. Nobody would have noticed that the other bridesmaids were wearing earrings and that I wasn't. What makes it all even worse is that the earrings weren't even expensive. They looked like something you could pull from a little girl's dress up set. Opie even blessed us with a little edit. I'm not leaving anything out. I'm describing everything that happened in this particular incident. Also, I'm not dwelling or bitter, I just ran across this sub and thought I'd share the story for cringy entertainment. Well, Opie, we're always here for a little bit of cringy entertainment. Opie ends off the post by saying, I didn't even confront my sister over this because it would give her more ammo to act like I am the bad guy. So, Katie Gats, this is the final bridal-inspired look. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Do you want to wear it? Tell me in the comments down below. I don't think I'm the biggest fan, but hey, I kind of like it. What do you think of my tiara? Well, to get back to the Bridezilla story, I don't think these sisters are very close. If they were, Samantha would have probably known that her sister doesn't wear jewelry. I don't know. Opie says she shared the story for entertainment's sake. It is quite entertaining, but if there's so many questions that I have, like, why didn't they talk about jewelry? Isn't that something that you talk about when you plan a wedding and you talk to your bridesmaids? Um, and of course, I don't think this is just about the earrings. I think there is something else, a brew, something happening that we are just not aware of. But it was quite a fun story to share with you all. Tell me your thoughts in the comments below. I think there's some missing information, but just imagine your sister is getting married and she's mad at you because you don't want to wear a pair of earrings. I mean, just wear a different hairstyle. Just cover your ears. You know? You know? <laughs> 